everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on the Yasutomo Niji R3 or just Niji R3 multifunctional pen. Thank you Mr. Leoman. So let's take a look. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this uh, lovely pen. Um, its brand is Niji. Uh, I wander around a few vintage uh, stationery uh, stores and there are still quite a few items from this brand and oddly I haven't seen it or heard of it ever um, it was probably shortly introduced and then suddenly disappeared or they just simply stopped um, distributing in this market or they just lost probably um, market share to the large ones like uh, the other Japanese giants like Pilot, Pentel and Uniball, but it's still interesting to see other smaller and other um, design concepts from other stationers. So again, as I say, this was given to me by a friend. Um, as you can notice, this is pretty much just gray with black, which is nice, uh, business-like, uh, and still quite stylish. The plastic is a little bit yellow due to age, um, and a friend of mine sent it to me and he got it from a a stationary distributor, a wholesaler who has a lot of actually mini vintage stuff, which we actually want to get eventually. And he sent me this one because he got this one and he really uh, loved it. And so far I also have been liking it pretty much. I really like its style. As you can notice, it has that uh, late 80s, early 90s vibe to it. It's fully plastic, the metal, the clip is metal, black metal, which is nice. I love uh, black metal accents on pens, which is not seen that much. Uh, and was pretty much more common in the early 90s and late 80s. And uh, nowadays, pretty much everything is just chrome or, or steel, usually. So that's something to appreciate. And we get the, that vibe from the era, from this, uh, this pen. And I also like the accordion, uh, which is also pretty cool and interesting design. Uh, um uh qu quality which is pretty much uh, popular or was first introduced with the Lamy Safari in 1980 and has eventually been uh popularized by many other uh pens and pencils for example uh the uh paper made Dynagrip also there's a pencil I think it's called Sharp I forgot the name uh, at the moment but they also have a, a accordion clicker on top of that their pencil. So this is interesting to now find the accordion here on the mid section, which is interesting. And you'll see eventually why it's here on the middle. Well, first, again, as I say, this is black metal. Here on the print, we have Niji, as you can appreciate. It says 0 0.5, so that's the, this side is a pencil. Over here is red, as in red ink, and here is black for black ink. If we turn it all the way back, it says R3 in a sort of stylish R, number 3, and Japan. But we also have over here on top Japan printed as well. Um, again, it's all fully plastic. The, the accordion is a rubber, metal black clip. Over here on top, you might expect, well, there probably is a cap, and there is. Over here we have the eraser for our pencil and it can be removable, probably maybe uh, substituted with another one or uh, you'll just have to shape maybe another one to this size so you can um, change this one because this pen is quite quite rare. I actually tried to find information online but it's not so easy. Actually Niji by itself or Yasutomo Niji uh, is not quite known. And I actually, if you look for Niji pen, uh, there is a model called the uh, Grip 350, which I was able to find, and I also have, and I will do an eventual review. But it's not a very known brand, so it's, it should be interesting to find, or if someone knows, any of our viewers would like to share or have any insight on that brand, uh, who could share any more information about them. And as you can see here, we have the plastic bump, as part of the design of the pen and that's how it stays uh, fixed to a pocket again we have the accordion which if we push there's no nothing about it right now it's on the 
close position. Now, if we first twist to all the way where it's the 0 0.5, we'll see pushed a pencil mechanism. And now if we push, we'll get the lead to, to pop up, as you can see. But it doesn't retract. We need to actually twist to be able to retract. Now, that was all the way to the to our, if we put it here to the, in front of us, all the way to our right, that's the pencil. Next on the mid twist, it's the red pen. And then if we move again, we get to the black part. The black pen has a clean uh, metal tip and the red one has a, has a red band over here so you can tell it's the red ink side right now. Now, if we close it all the way, uh, if we have it again back and we twist all the way to the left, we are able to open and replace refills. As you can see, we have our three. We have Niji, it says Niji Japan and Mill one also, let's see. Yes, both say Niji Japan, both the red and the black ink. Probably will be universal refills, I like to think. If not, well, might pretty much just use it now while it still works, the ink. So, but it's a pretty nice, elegant, office-like design. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this is the kind of pen that uh, just by looking at it, I will infer it's probably a uh, Asian or Japanese design, and it is. And it also some somehow it brings me the idea or possible vibe that this is the kind of item that Lamy or a design that Lamy could have made, um, considering the style of the accordion, the sleek rounded lines. Also, Lamy is more. Uh, more straight lines and more Bauhaus like but also I like to think that this pen also reminisces a lot of the Bauhaus cues and thinking and I like the idea of having everything in one single item you don't have to uh, fuss about having a pencil because you already have the pencil and the eraser as you can notice um, and you have your red ink which for example for me for uh, which one of my professions is being a teacher is pretty convenient and a regular black ink just for jotting down notes or any daily writings. So this is a pretty good um, office office pen or daily pen or maybe even school pen. You all sum it up only on one item and you don't need to carry that many. But for us uh, stationers or enthusiasts, well, we actually like to uh, carry a lot of them. But for more practical people or, or if you want to go on a more minimalist vibe, well, with this pen you pretty much have everything. So now let's give it a quick look on a test on this pencil. Let's see. So this is the, I'm going to write with the pencil. This is the Yasutomo Niji or just Niji R3 uh, multifunction, multifunction pen. Uh, it has a 0 0.5 pencil. It also, if I, oh, let's check actually the eraser. Let's see. Uh, oh, not dust free, as you can see. Mm, not the best, but pretty much works, I guess. Very dusty actually. I don't know if it's because it's of the due to the age or but the rubber actually feels pretty good. Doesn't seem like it's uh old, not scratchy, it's fairly soft, so I guess it's still pretty good. And let's take a look. Um oh my bad, sorry. It's hard working with just one hand. Now again, if I click, here's the lead, let's push it. Now on our twist, we have our red ink. Here is our red ink, as you can notice again, the red band. So this is the red 
red ink pen it, the refill says Niji Japan it's a uh, well a regular red ink kind of pretty much brings to mind uh, any regular pilot probably maybe ink same tone as a Bix as a big crystal maybe slightly more lighter this one and now let's take a look at the black ink this is the black black ink okay well this is more grayish and it's not working that properly as the red one again this is an old older pen it was in storage so i cannot expect that much from these refills but this is niji japan black refill it's actually a miracle it's actually writing considering it's pretty old and it's been in storage for a while the red ink writes pretty good but this black ink well seems like time has taken a toll on it but it still kind of works for maybe a maybe a small note or quick note but i will suggest using better the red one because the black one probably needs changing Now it's fairly decent. Maybe with some more writing, it will eventually flow better. But overall, as I say, a lovely design, a uh, very well-made Japanese pen from a no really strange, strange uh, brand or well-not known brand. If you're familiar with this pen or recognize it, please feel free to share any comments or memories on it. Or if you have any more insights on the brand, uh, again, a pretty interesting uh, design and concept. Again, Pretty much the whole multifunctional pen uh, popularity began like around the late 80s and early 90s and throughout the 90s there were several multifunctional pens but then that whole uh, concept kind of died out considering that well uh, nowadays people don't write as much as in the past but still a very interesting piece and a stationary history item well I hope you like this review please stay tuned for more uh, reviews to come and feel free to comment thanks for watching bye bye